January 1981, the biggest manhunt in police history comes to an end. The police have arrested 34-year-old Peter Sutcliffe, the serial killer dubbed the Yorkshire Ripper. The first blow that felled me, then there was four more blows after that. In five years, Sutcliffe brutally murdered 13 women. The skull, when you touched it, you could feel that there were multiple fractures all over the place. He claimed he was on a divine mission. He was adamant that God had given him this mission to rid the world of prostitutes. Seemingly eluding the police at will. He kept giving us the slip and he was always one step ahead of us. This is the extraordinary story of how Britain's most notorious serial killer was finally caught. This man brought fear to the whole of this community. Leeds, 1975. The unidentified body of a woman is discovered in a playing field in the heart of the city. It's the fourth suspected prostitute murder the police have dealt with that year. But this one's different. There's something about the injuries that worries forensic pathologist Professor Mike Green. The overriding feature was a single blow or two blows to the back of the head round about here and then once the patient is immobilized uh, other injuries were inflicted these were stab wounds they were an unusual shape but what was particularly unusual was that all of these wounds showed reinsertion and this is one of the many things that makes this case so different from your typical homicide. I certainly have never seen another case like it, and I don't think many people will have. The body is identified as 28-year-old Wilma McCann. She lived just 100 yards from the playing field where her body was found. The memory of that day still haunts her son, Richard. This police officer